Hi, this is Scott Kilos here at 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and I'm back with another Yaesu VX6 Operator Series video. For today's video, we're going to be talking about programming in simplex memory channels into your Yaesu VX6 radio. And if you're saying, hang on a second, didn't he just do that video? Yes, indeed he did. And uh, sure enough, I got tripped up by something that catches me every single time I program simplex frequencies into a Yaesu radio. Uh, it, it happens without fail. Almost every time I do it, I forget to take this one little step, and I'll be darned if I didn't do it during the Operator Series video. Now, it's a very simple error to correct, and I caught it in editing, and of course a couple of eagle-eyed viewers also caught it and brought it to my attention. I like that. Keep doing that. Um, but uh, what I thought was, well, okay, I'll leave it in there, and then I'll do a follow-on video showing you how to correct the error if you do that. But that doesn't exactly show us how to 100% correctly program in a simplexed frequency into, uh, into a memory channel. So I decided to pull the video down and reshoot it, do it the 100% accurate way, and later I'll do a follow-on video where I replicate the error and show you how to correct it. So without further ado, let's uh, launch into the proper way to program in simplex frequencies as memory channels into your Yaesu VX6. So step one, anytime you're going to program in a uh, frequency into memory, you of course need to turn the radio on. So we long press the power key. As a reminder, this radio has been restored to its factory default condition. So it's going to look, at, look, act, and operate exactly like your radio would new out of the box. So we come up in VFO mode and we're showing 144 megahertz. So let's go ahead and uh, switch to memory and see what we have there as a factory default. So I short press the VM key to go to memory. And I'm showing slot 1, 144 megahertz. Turn the uh, channel selector knob. I'm getting nothing else because there's nothing else there. There's only one channel programmed into memory. So let's go ahead and uh, exit that and go back to VFO because you're going to start everything from there. But before we enter in a frequency, we need to do one thing, and that is turn automatic repeater shift off. That is the thing I neglected to do last time. So to do that, we're going to go to the set menu by pressing the FW key and the set key. And what we're looking for is selection number four, and that is ARS, or automatic repeater shift. Now where this tripped me up earlier is uh, what automatic repeater shift is, is anytime you enter in a frequency that is associated with repeater operations, automatic repeater shift will automatically apply the proper offset for the transmit frequency on that repeater set. And in doing so, it'll apply uh, a plus or a minus, and for VHF it'll be 0.6, for uh, um, UHF it'll be uh, 5 megahertz, either like plus or minus. And what that means is, and just very briefly, with repeater operations you have two frequencies that you're dealing with. There is the receive frequency, which is the frequency normally associated with the repeater. And then there's the actual transmit frequency, and that transmit frequency is offset by that number. For instance, uh, and I'm just going to throw a number out. This isn't this isn't accurate. It's just easy math. So let's say my repeater is 441.000 is a receive frequency, and it has a plus five or it requires a plus five offset. So my receive frequency would be 441.000. My actual transmit frequency would be 445.000. So ARS automatically does that for you. Now what happened in the last video was when I put in 446. 0.000, which is the UHF National Simplex Calling Frequency. For some reason, ARS sees that as a repeater, which it is not, and it automatically applies a minus 5 megahertz offset to that. And that's what happened in the last video. When I saved it, there was a little minus symbol that was showing at the top of the screen. Uh, now, again, that's an easy fix. You can just go in and, and adjust that to, to zero for the offset, and you're good to go. Um, but, or overwrite the channel, but to save you from having to do that, and it doesn't just apply to UHF, I've seen this happen with VHF frequencies as well, um, so to save that, you having to correct that problem, the easiest method is just to start any simplex programming operations with ARS turned off. So again, we're in the set menu, we're on item four, so to do that, we're just simply going to press the zero or set key, now it's currently set to on. We're going to turn the selector knob to off, and we're going to press that zero again, and then the PTT to exit. Now we're ready to ready to go. So the first frequency I'm going to plug in is the VHF national calling frequency, which is 146.520. 
Um, I'm currently in v VFO and I'm in the VHF band. You don't have to be in the VHF band. You can be in another band. Or you can be in any band on, on VFO. All you're interested in doing is programming in that frequency off of the number keys here. So I punch in 1, 4, 6, 5, 2, 0. And now we're about ready to actually commit this to memory. Now before we do that, I need to explain one thing that's going to happen after you, and we're going to do so by pre long pressing this FW key. But before we do that, you need to know that when you long press that FW key and release, this radio is going to give you five seconds to make a decision. And that decision is, do you want it to go to the channel that's, that it has selected for you, or do you want it to go somewhere else? Now, the first thing you're going to see uh, when I do this is you're going to see a 1 appear at the top, and it will not be flashing. That's the only time that's going to happen. Moving forward, for instance, the next frequency we program in uh, will be intended to go to channel slot 2, and it'll show the next open slot will be 2, and it'll be flashing that 2. If you want it to go somewhere other than that 2, you need to be prepared to start turning that channel control knob as soon as you release that FW key to go to the place where you want. If it makes the selection for you, it's going to stay there until you go in and fix it. So, to commit this to memory, here's how we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and long press the FW key, and then we're going to short press the FW key to save it. Now let's go to memory, and what should happen now, previously channel slot 1, was showing 144.000. So let's go to memory and see what it shows now. Now channel slot 1 shows 146.520. So let's do another channel and show you what they're all going to look like kind of moving forward. So we go back to VFO mode by short pressing the VM key. And let's go ahead and punch in that 446000. So this is, again, the UHF national calling frequency. And this is the one that tripped me up before by applying that minus offset. So I'm going to save this by press long pressing FW and watch for that number 2 to be flashing at the top. And there it's flashing. And I press FW again, just a short press, and it's going to save it to that slot. So now let's go ahead and go to memory mode and see what happened. And now it's showing in channel 2. So channel 1, 146.520. Channel 2, 446.000. So let's go back out to VFO and put another one in. And this time we're going to be putting in 146415. Let's go ahead and save that now. Long press. See the 3 flashing. And we'll press again. Again, if I wanted it to go somewhere other than 3, I could turn that knob and select 10, 20, 30, anything I wanted. So uh, let's go ahead and press, uh, go back to memory and see where that landed. And there it is in channel slot 3. So there's channel 1, it's 146520, channel 2, 446000, and channel 3, 146415. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Now, what I want to do is I want to name channel 1 and channel 2, and I want to name them call 1 and call 2. So let me show you how to alphanumerically name a channel. So to name the channel, we're going to go into the set menu. Um, but before we do that, hang on. You want to be on the channel that you want to actually name. So in this case, I was on 3, let's go to 1, 1 is the channel we want to name, so I uh, press the FW key, press a 0, and now I'm looking for item number 40, and number 40 is going to be name set, and we're almost there. Okay, at this point, uh, to begin naming the channel, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press the 0 or set key. And we see a little cursor flashing right here, we're going to use our selector knob, and you see now we got letters. First letter is A. Now to advance to the next slot, I press the Mode button. And that's going to move us to the next spot. In this case, I need an A. Press again. I need a couple of L's here. Press again. Advance. Now I want a symbol. I want a little dash. So I'm going to go beyond the alphabet. And I'm going to get into my actual symbols. And there's my dash. And advance. And now I need numbers. And that's going to be before the alphabet, so I'm looking for the uh, the number 1. We're good to go. I'm going to press 0 to save it, and I'm going to press PTT to exit. Now, channel slot 1 is showing call 1 is, is what's visible. Now, of course, we know we can expose the frequency behind that by pressing the Monty key, so I press that, and we see 146520 appears as the frequency. So let's advance to the next channel we want to name, and it's 446.000. This one we're going to name call 2. So we go back to that set menu. We're already on name set, so we press zero and put in our C. We advance 
And uh, I'm going to make a mistake here deliberately, so watch this. I put a B instead of an A, and I advance, and I go up. I, what do I do now? How do I get back? Well, to back up one spot, you're simply going to press the band key. The band key is going to take you back one slot, and then you can make the correction you need. You can press mode to advance to the next. Fairly simple stuff, so we're looking for a couple of L's. Let me get another L here. I did not press the mode button hard enough and stay there. Now we can advance. Okay, here we go. There's my dash. And now I'm looking for the letter 2. So there we are. And press 0 to save. PTT to exit. Now channel slot 2 is showing call 2. And again, Monty key reveals the frequency. And then channel 3, we're just going to leave unadorned because uh, the rest of them I'm going to save just as raw frequency output in, in terms of what's displayed. Because in, uh, in ham, we tend to uh, talk about things in terms of frequencies rather than channels. So uh, that allows me, if someone says, hey, go to 146. 415 or 420 or, or what have you, easy enough to find. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's how to program in uh, some simplex frequencies. And in the next video, what we're going to talk about is how to program in repeaters. So with that, I'll go ahead and bring it to an end. Thank you for watching and or listening. And again, sorry about the error on the last video. I hope this clears it up and uh, you see the, uh, the true, proper, and accurate way to program in simplex frequencies as memory channels. So again, thank you very much for watching. This is Scott Kilo, Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.